Hi. Oh, hi. Is that the bullying line? Okay, thank you so much for picking up. Right, I run a TV station called Moving On TV. It's about for the community. I've been experiencing a lot of bullying lately, but I don't want to go into that. I just want to talk to someone who can tell the bullies who are probably watching um, the statistics of people who commit suicide from bullying. Do, can you give us a, just a general number? Uh, I I wouldn't be able to talk to you about that. I can perhaps put you in touch with somebody else that could. Okay, that would be wonderful because we're live at the moment and I think they need to take responsibility for what they're doing. Hello? Hello, okay. Yeah, me, thank you very much. Let's ask them, eh? There's nothing I won't confront. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Put this in your group, yeah? Lauren rings the bullying line to find out how many people commit suicide. Put that in your group. Right? There you go. You don't believe me? I know everything goes in your groups. I thought, have a laugh about this. Well, if you do, you're demented. We shall see. Now that's one of the things okay. I, sorry. I'm just going to ask my supervisor to come on the line and talk to you. Thank you very much. I'm changing something, okay? I'm changing okay. something. Thank you. I don't know what you're messing with. So, um, no, it's okay. Um, I don't want to go okay. into it because I want them, the people that are doing it, particularly young people, to understand how devastating it can be to the person who's okay. getting So to show them the other side, I don't want to go into any of the, the actual okay. bullying. I'd rather show it's them okay. the effects and I'd like to know some kind of number statistically um of how many people commit suicide from it or how many yeah i want to know statistically how it affects people okay. i'm trying to show them you know i'm okay but um it had it did push me very very low yes yeah thank you because we're living yeah. in such a difficult time at the moment where well, we've lost so much that we need kindness and compassion not bullying yes yes we do it's, it's been a really tough time tougher than and a lot of other years, hasn't it? And and a lot of people that thought they were okay are not. Exactly. And, and we do need to look after each other rather than, yeah. than bullying. Bullying doesn't help anybody. Bullying is a sign of weakness. Listen, tell them, tell them. Thank you, sweetheart. What's your name? What's your name? Can you give me a name? The My lady? name's Julie. Hi, Julie. Right, Julie, tell them. Tell them what bullying is. From your point of view, from my point of view, it's 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 an awful thing to do. It's unnecessary. It damages people in in ways that you can't possibly imagine, and it's it is a sign of, of weakness, you know. And being able to manipulate somebody that you can see is struggling is awful. Yeah. And you see, the, the thing is that when you get someone like me, 
I do so much work to protect people, vulnerable people, um, and I got it. But I'm able to go on here and just to, to try and get into the hearts of those people that are doing it rather than punish them, except there was one on there that was so perverted and I reported him to the police, which is what you should do, isn't it? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. If anything ever happens, just just report it because it needs dealing with. Right. Okay. So if anybody is watching this and they're being bullied or they are doing the bullying, Julie is just giving you an idea of what it does, it, it how it can affect you and how it can affect the other person. That the person that's doing the bullying, Julie, I would have thought that they're hurt in some way or else why would they do it? Yeah, usually the, the, the person that's being bullied is either being bullied or there's something that is they're missing in their life and they want to take some sort of control. Right. And the only way they can control it is to try and control other people. Okay, and I think the reason the, the groups um, are like that is because you get the pact mentality. And so, uh, I mean... Okay, my big story was I recovered in something called a therapeutic community. Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but I was diagnosed with a mental health issue. I wouldn't take medication, so I was put in a therapeutic community. Now, in the beginning, it, it's masses of bullying because you have to be able to learn about yourself and you have to be able to change in some way. And because I was different, cultural differences, yeah, tell me about it. I grew up in a different country. Um, different religion, you, you, there was a huge amount of bullying going on at my age, uh, which is saying why it's got, I'm going through it now, similar to why I'm going through it now, cultural differences, age, and um, being authentic, you know, a lot of people can't bear you to be authentic, they want you to carry on, and so if you, so what I noticed in, in the groups, in the, in the therapeutic community, was very interesting, it was very interesting because when they talked to you on a one-to-one -one basis, everyone was very nice to you. But when you, they got back into their groups, they would join the pack. So if the pack was in a mood of bullying, they would bully. If the pack was in the mood of belittling, they would belittle. I've seen it all before. People find it very difficult. You see, Facebook need to take control of, of cyberbullying, but they're not. I reported continuously reported these groups and Facebook did nothing. Do you find that? Do you find that a lot of people are contacting you because of social media bullying? Yes, that is, that is a big problem. Cyberbullying is a, is a huge problem now. And, and people want to belong. They just want to, they don't want to be the one person that yeah. stands up and says, no, this isn't right. Yeah. And no, I won't accept it. They exactly. find it easier to go along with with the, the rest of the group. Yeah, exactly. It, so was, it, it takes yeah. a lot of courage to stand up and say, no, I won't, I won't accept this, and no, that's not the way to treat people. Yeah, but they bully themselves within the group. This is what I also find quite difficult to understand, is when I was looking at them, the sexualization and the bullying of each other, and it was like, I don't understand that. They were kind of like demeaning each other in the group as well, and... I couldn't, to me, that, that's not nice. It shows that you don't really love yourself. You don't really have any self-esteem to, to be able to go through that. Do you, do you hear that at all when people contact you? That they had enough of it and that's why they got out? Um, yes, possibly self-esteem is, is an important thing, which is why often people that are a bit low in self-esteem, they're the ones that bullies target because people that are confident and and would just say no don't talk to me like that i'm not going to accept that it doesn't work so they they tend to focus on people that have got low self-esteem yeah yeah or someone who's who's got a different type of personality or or, yes, or because yeah, it's, it's i mean not, yeah it's not seen as, as as the norm but it's also i mean the way we're living at the moment a lot of people young people have absolutely nothing they have no lives they I don't judge any of them, it's, I'm not judging them, but I think that it must have increased in a big way 
that they'll find someone. Like I say, what they tend to do with me, Julie, and it's been devastating, is, um, okay, I was in a wheelchair for four, I've had a life, okay, I've had a life, let's put it that way. No, you know, I was in a wheelchair, I, I had a serious accident, and I broke my leg, and my leg was practically um, finished. And they didn't know if I'd walk again. And now okay. I and now I dance. I dance. Wow. I mean, my leg is one of my legs are shorter because it didn't heal properly, and I lost my balance. But I go on and I dance, and I put it on my channel. And I'm so proud of this body that can still do that. And they laugh at it and they make fun of it, you know. Oh. And and yeah, but, yeah. It, because they've got oh, nothing God. else to do, that they, they, they've probably got. I, I tell people to dance and sing and to live their lives. And I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. I was in a wheelchair. I had to have everything done for me for four months, four months. And then I had to learn how to walk again. I even have videos of me learning how to walk again. And so I, I can dance. It's five years now, five and a half years. And, and oh, I am so, you. it's amazing. And I do that because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. And I can, I have a body that actually was going to be stuck in a wheelchair. I, nobody knew whether I'd walk again. They actually, the doc, I had no operation. It was a miracle, a miracle that because they were always too busy to give me an operation. So I didn't get an operation and I have absolutely no problems. Thank God, because I never had anything put into my leg. But because it healed on its own in a cast, it never gelled properly. It was a very, 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 it was so serious. I fell on a chain and the chain actually broke into my leg. It, and because I struggled, it got worse. I had the x-rays. So it annihilated the bone. And how I'm actually walking, never mind dancing, is a miracle. So I go on there to show that and then I get bullied. and. It's like, but I couldn't even walk. You don't understand. I'm trying to show you how much you can do with your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's, but anyway, it's what you, you can just move on. It's so amazing to have you on here. I just had a brainwave because today I was on the floor crying my eyes out because of it. And then I rose above it and I thought, I want to understand what bullying is because I've had so much of it. I hurt people when I'm unhappy. I'm like a little porcupine that goes whoosh, you know, all my little needles go out there. And I, that's the only time that I hurt people. And a lot of people are too vulnerable and they can't deal with it, you know? But this is a yeah, packed yeah, we, thing. Yeah. This is different. This is not being bullied one-to-one. -one. This is being bullied in a group. And that's very, very dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, it's very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if anybody else has any, you know, issues with bullying, I think, you know, what you've done today is to, to call our helpline. Um, you can look at our website. We've got loads and loads of information on there. We've What's, your website? You What's your website? What's your website? called Family Lives. Family Lives. Yeah, so if you, if you just Google Family Lives, the website will come up. Fantastic. If you don't actually want to phone and talk to us, we've got an online chat that we do in the afternoons. We've got an email. Wow, service. okay. But if, if you look through there, you can find tips on there on, on how to deal with the bullying, how to stand up to the bullies. Right. Familylives.com? Um, Is it dot org? .uk. Oh, it's dot org. Dot UK. Family Lives. Okay, know, it'll, it'll come, come up. up. Yeah. You might get some kind of American soap opera come up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fam <laughs> family lives. <laughs> Org.uk, right. Org.uk. I'm just putting that. You see, this is the thing is I'm here. I'm a humanitarian and I think things happen to me so that I can actually highlight it because I never heard of you before. I never heard of family lives. So if someone oh, wants wow. an interview so we can go deeper, someone like, who works for them we can go deeper into statistics i mean one of the things i did an interview was papyrus that's under 35 that commit suicide and actually they filled me in and they i find this really hard to believe but the, which is very positive they told me that suicide has gone down in under 35 year olds since the lockdowns and i thought that was amazing 
that maybe this is how these kids stay strong by by creating their groups but unfortunately they they go pear-shaped sometimes when the wrong person joins the group i think they need healthy boundaries in their groups yeah 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 and, and that's where charities like us can can support all these people i mean we we deal with bullying but we deal with absolutely anything to do with family lives and, and often it's it's other issues that lead to the bullying so you know it could could be teenage problems it, it could be health problems it could be sexual anything like that and that can that can lead to bullying so i think it's worth anybody looking at our website and and having a look to see how they can support each other we need to look after each other at the moment all the time actually but even more yeah. so at the moment and need someone to look after yeah. them we do. I hope that's been helpful. That's been amazing. Um, I, uh, can you give me your email? Because I'm going to email someone to see if I can get a proper interview uh, to delve if deeper. You, if you look on our website and if you just send an email, that'll go to our head office. Okay. And then we can get someone to, to speak to you. And I think it would be really good to have a, a proper interview. With, and and I, could, I would, could give you random numbers, but I'd rather give you proper statistics. I'd like them to be correct before yeah. you had them, which yeah. is why I haven't given you any numbers. No. Can you just remind me of the radio station you're on? It's a TV station. It's called Moving On TV. Moving, moving on, on TV, TV Community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Moving On TV Community. I try to do everything possible to keep people in a positive manner. I sing, I dance, I act, I, I do comedy. I do. I bring everything to the public to show them everything that's out there to try and keep them sane because of my life story. I have to stay sane every single day and I chose no medication. It's just the way I've chosen. And I and I go through enormous breakdowns sometimes just to come out the other way without medication. So it's a huge uh -huh. journey. And and so what Julie said here was beautiful. We have to love each other and take care of each other. And if you video is this piece, because they video bits of what I say, I'm hoping they're going to video this, put it on your group and learn from it and understand and then hopefully if you're being bullied then let, let us know let us know so we can help you because one day you want a life you want to grow up and have a good life you, as i said i i would have thought that you get cases where, do you ever get cases or just very quickly i remember seeing a film where they turned it around and they looked at the life of the bully that had actually caused somebody to die and it was really, really sad to see how sad their life was, that person that was bullying. And it was kind of like a flashback where they could have stopped it from happening. And um, because this is what I'm trying to say to these people, you'll never, ever be able to make up for it if you, somebody does something because of your bullying. You'll never be able to make up. It will destroy your life. And did yeah, you have yeah, you ever had anyone like contact you? Point. Have you ever had anyone contact you? I mean, do you, uh, you maybe you get people that when they were kids they bullied and then they woke up and realized that it's not a good way to live, or that's well, I think a, there's, yeah? often, there's often people that do realize that and you know they sort of see the light almost and realize that's not a good thing to do, and, and sometimes they feel really bad about things that have happened, but. You can't change what's happened in the past, you can only change the future. So it's it's looking forward then and trying to make things better, isn't it? Exactly. Thank you so much, Julie. This is all streaming across social media. So I hope, you know, we managed to save one human life today. That that would be incredible. I hope so. Or even I save hope so. one person from bullying. That yeah. would be incredible too. Thank you so much, Julie. Lots of love. I'll go on the okay, website and I'll care. email for a proper Thank interview. Take bye care. Bye. bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Right. So you see. So that interview will be, I will end the stream now and come back. Hello there, Gemini. Somebody called Gemini has come on from Periscope. I thought that was a beautiful interview with Julie. If you need the bullying line, it's um, familylives.org.uk. I'll go on there now and I'll copy it for you. Okay.
www. familylives.org.uk there we go it's not just bullying there's lots on here loads okay there's there's loads of stuff on here bullying uk there you go let's put that one on here we go yeah okay this is the link so if anyone is being bullied or do you, if you're being bullied here's your link that's if you're being bullied, okay? There's your link. And that's for Facebook and Twitch because you can't see the messages on Restream. So that's why I put them on here. For anyone who's being bullied, you're not going to be able to click it. That's the only problem. But you can copy it maybe, okay? The bully is www.bullying.co.uk, right? Okay? And to anybody who's doing the bullying, What's missing in your life? Why do you feel the need to bully? Why do you feel the need to go in a group where which is demeaning you for what you really are? Most of you are good people, but once you come together in that pack, you seem to lose your morals. Anyway, it's not up to me to fix anyone. So I hope you got something from that. Uh, Gemini's, maybe you are being bullied, I don't know. or But you came on here for a reason. And I hope it helps you, whoever you are. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the stream and come back because it'll, and then I can edit it, just that part about the bullying. Take care, bye.